What's up, everyone? If this is your first time watching my content, my name is Baron. I specialize in ship content for Star Citizen, anywhere from buyer's guides, deep dives, theory crafting, and ship updates. So I hope you enjoy the content. If you like it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for all the notifications. If you didn't, leave a dislike, and we'll see you on the other side. Go ahead and join our Discord. All right, so where do we start today? How are you? How are you, chickies? I hope you're all doing well. Today is a big day. How many leaks did we get? It is absolutely redonkulous as to how much we have gotten. And honestly, I don't know, um, you know, what is going on here, but we've got, we've got a few things. So there's item port here, like salvage arm left, salvage arm right. So I'm going to guess that would be for the vulture. These are sort of new stuff, uh, new stuff that is in the game code, I guess. You got uh, salvage filter station deleted. So you've got um, cargo, then you've got create. So I'm going to guess they're like tab titles, they're options. You got commodity kiosks. So you got uh, subcategories. So the new vehicle names, these are what have been added to the game. And going on from there, you've got the misc hull B, the misc hull D, the misc odyssey, the crusader a1 c1 and e1 spirit you have the misc expanse you have the origin x1 the x1 force the x1 velocity and the rsi apollo triage you also have the apollo santokiai now we have some new vehicle descriptions here for said ships so here we've got the a1 spirit so here it says the light bomber crusader industries brings its usual commitment to excellence directly to the civilian market with the a1 spirit a mid-size multi-purpose starship equipped as a light bomber but packing enough versatility to tackle multiple roles and unpredictable jobs if you guys want to um, time stamp these videos you are free to do that I will try and do it myself but I just get so busy that I just lose track and I just can't do it so we go on to the C1 spirit so it says Crusader Industries brings its usual commitment to excellence directly to civilian blah 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 a mid-size multi-purpose starship built for cargo transport and delivery but packing enough versatility to tackle multiple roles and unpredictable jobs next is the E1 spirit so this one, a mid-sized multi-purpose starship aiming to redefine executive travel while packing enough versatility to tackle multiple roles in unpredictable jobs. So it seems like it's pretty much the same across the board, just a few different words. So I will be doing a video on the C1 Spirit and um, something about the um, tractor beam on that, it's, which is very interesting. So continuing on, um, if you just don't want to see this, you can skip it. So the MISC Expanse self-contained refinery system seeks to redefine the industry standard for entry-level vehicular-based mineral processing specially designed to operate in tandem with mining ships like the MISC Prospector. The Expanse is the perfect complement to any mining operation thanks to its ability to transform full raw mineral pods to sellable material. So we'll go to the X1. Welcome to the next level of the X1 Origin Jump Works high performance open canopy vehicle built for lightweight polymers. The X1 takes speed and agility to the next level. Thanks to seamlessly integrated engine technology and joint vector thruster placement, innovative design and high quality engineering weave together to create a flight experience like no other. I'm not going to read all of them. You just can sort of pause and read it if you like. Um, we will go to the triage. So the medical, the legendary Apollo triage from Robert Space Industries is the gold standard in medivac and rapid emergency response vehicles. Updated to support regeneration technology, the Apollo has a long history provided critical aid to the Empire and beyond for well over two centuries. Going on to the Santokiai, the next power, the power of the next generation Xeon flight systems, upgraded dual vector thrusters, and a daunting weapons package. Power has created a fighter that retains nimble dexterity and tight handling their brand is known for. So moving on, we have the Drake Cutter. Yes, it has been labeled on the showroom floor, which is very, very interesting. So you can see that little image there. It's got the cutter next to it. Moving on, the new large ship from RSI is known as the RSI Galaxy. Yes, I was very, very surprised when I seen this. And then I seen the image of it and I was like, holy crap, that is awesome. We will get there. So the RSI is larger version of the Constellation made modern. So modularity um, allows for a choice of role with a focus of 
on industry over combat. Multi-crew weaponry and shields ensure safety in hazardous situations. So this is written by Hader, and I'm just going to read this to two years old. So modules include weaponry, refueling, medical, transport, and will expand in the future. So is this like the Carrick, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to have one. I don't care. It holds a crew of six, has a SEU account of 32, and is equipped with a size 3 shield, size 3 uh, three size 5 turrets and two size 4 missiles. Includes an extra small hangar for bikes. The ship can be described as an industrial Perseus with the heavy constellation influences around Carrick size. So, I don't know. People, this is going to be one of those other, I, I, I don't know. They were mentioning Carrick Killer here, but people are going to be like, oh, it's a Carrick Killer. Okay, yeah, good for that. Um, and it's also said that it's playing around Stanton and Pyro gameplay. So, modules include weapon, weaponry, refueling, medical, transport, and will expand in the future. It holds a crew of six. You got the small hangar. The ship is described as an industrial Perseus. And then we go on from there. It doesn't have a snub. It's in development, so it's not purely concept planned around the Stanton and Pyro gameplay. So, that would be really interesting and awesome to see. I'm wondering if this is one that was already on the... Um, the tracker so that, that's good to hear that you know we're getting more large ships it would be fantastic if they did work on some of their older ships that they had in the past so the galaxy is confirmed on the map for the expo next well expo this year cool this is the third ship um okay that's interesting so ship modules take up enough space in which 512 su is how much cargo expands to with the cargo module that is very interesting the galaxy is confirmation confirmed on the map for the expo this year this is the third ship again there's just a lot of stuff going on here and we will show you said galaxy look at that doesn't that look like the perseus along with the polaris it looks really awesome i like it let me know what you all think down in the comments. I know everyone's going to be hyped for this. Everyone's going to be like, oh, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Yes, we're all going to get it. We're all definitely going to get one. I don't know why we wouldn't. So it looks like a hybrid baby between the Perseus and the Polaris. Yes, it's Carrick size, but does that mean it is a touch bigger than the Perseus? I don't know. We'll just have to see when it comes out, but they look like some freaking big, like those are big guns on the front and the sides. It looks amazing. Um, I'm obviously going to have one. I think a lot of people are going to be interested in this, but would this be on Carrick level stuff with like some of the modules that it may introduce and when they go over it in the ISC or wherever they give us the information, what could this entail? What could this give us in terms of functionality? Could this be more powerful than the Carrick or can it just only have a certain module at a certain time or will it be able to have like mo one module or two modules in each part of the ship? I don't know, but it may have only one module in the ship and it may not be as powerful. I don't think it's going to be as OP. It's not going to be a Carrick killer. The Carrick is always going to be its unique ship it's going to always going to be unique for what it does and for what it is and yes a lot of people love it a lot of people like it a lot of people dislike it for what it is but i think this is going to create some new competition for ships like the odyssey um any other sort of large ship that is based around this it may even create competition with the 600i but again all these ships are unique to what they do they're unique to each manufacturer so i don't think you know as well as people like melting ships for this i don't think a lot of people are going to do that they're probably going to have um itemized like ships so they'll have you know the carry and they'll have this they'll have the odyssey they have all that sort of stuff but let me know what you think i'm very interested in this i'm going to have one myself so there's been hollow viewers the um obviously you got the banu merchman you got the santokyi um you've got a you got a fair bit of stuff there you know uh, you got the Carrick with some podiums around it. The, the, the podiums are sort of built up, so that looks awesome to see that. And the Starliner Genesis is obviously there again. But I hope, you know, you all enjoy this content. I hope you have been really enjoying it because, honestly, I've been enjoying doing this stuff. And I know it's not as ethical as what I usually do, but people love it. And everyone's been enjoying it and i love bringing it to you yes i know you get your sources from some other places that i know of but i want to be the more 
uh, interactable and sort of shows you the content in front of your face so you don't have to go looking for it. So, hope you enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments what you all think. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends. If you didn't, leave a dislike and we'll see you in the verse. Bye-bye.